dy dx plus 2 over x times y equals 7. Everything's in standard form, so let's circle the p. Here it is here. It's the object here, and that's p. So um, let's work out the integrating factor. e to the integral p, which is 2 over x dx. 2 lots of 1 over x is 2 lots of ln x when you integrate it. Get rid of the 2 because it's in the way of removing the e and the log. So that's e to the ln of x squared, isn't it? Using properties of logs. And the e and the log are now adjacent, so they cancel each other out to leave just the x squareds. The x squared. That's it. So there's our integrating factor. So multiply by that then. x squared dy dx. Plus, times this by x squared, one of the x's will cancel and we'll get 2xy equals 7x squared. Now we circle the u and the v. Here's the u, it's always in this position. Here's the v. So now we can write d by dx of ub. So d by dx then of u times v, these two, x squared y is equal to this, what's on the right hand side, 7x squared. Nice easy problem now. So let's integrate both sides. So here's our problem. Integrating gives the integral of the derivative is just the object itself, what's inside, x squared y. And then you integrate 7x squared dx, which is 7 lots of x cubed over 3 plus k. There we go. So that implies then x squared y is equal to 7x cubed over 3 plus k. So there's our answer. But we can divide by um, x squared to get just y on its own. Uh, it gives. So we'll end up with y then. Divide that by x squared, you get y. Divide this by x squared. Two of the x's will cancel, so just one left, 7x over 3. Divide by x squared, I'll bring it up to the top, kx to the minus 2. 